After six years of talking about it, the Cincinnati streetcar is more now than just a concept. Good evening, everybody. Construction workers today hoist the first steel rails into place for phase one of the $140 million streetcar project. But some say today's event was held to keep on a political timetable, not a construction schedule. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live from over the Rhine with the story. Joe. Well, Kit, this project's been a political hot potato for the last six years. It's been the target of two referendums, and it's now one of the central issues in next month's mayor's race. Candidate Roxanne Qualls, a big supporter of the streetcar, candidate John Cranley says he'll kill the project if he's elected mayor. And laying the first bit of track three weeks before the election raises some questions. After some soaring remarks by politicians and project managers, the talk stopped today and the real work of building the Cincinnati streetcar began. The first 80 feet of steel track was laid into place on Elm Street outside Music Hall. This is a big deal. This project has come a long way. We've had a lot of obstacles. We've had some crazy opposition. But this is the project that will not stop. Mark Mallory won't be around as Cincinnati mayor for the three years it will take to build the $140 million first phase. He'll be replaced by whoever gets elected next month. Candidate Roxanne Qualls is all for the streetcar project. Her opponent, John Cranley, is dead set against it. Cranley says this was a Qualls campaign event masquerading as construction work. Obviously, it was a political event. It's three weeks before an election, they know I'm going to cancel it, and they're trying to bind the hands of the, of, the, of the public. And I think it shows enormous contempt for the taxpayer. Cranley says his polling shows strong public opposition to the streetcar, despite it surviving two referendums that could have killed it. Work goes on. There will be rails in the ground, possibly all the way to Findlay Market by January. Cranley says that changes nothing. He will work to kill the project. And we just can't afford it, so we're going to stop it. Politicking right before an election should surprise no one, including a veteran like John Cranley. He says the streetcar is a bad investment, but the current mayor says it's not. And for now, he gets to call the shots. We are revitalizing our downtown core. We are revitalizing over the Rhine. We are investing in our neighborhoods. The streetcar project goes a long way to bring all of that together. And that's what it's all about. Now, project manager John Dietrich says you can expect to see streets ripped up like this all along the, the uh, streetcar route for the next couple of years. Crews will cut an eight-foot wide swath in the, in the street so that they can fill it up with the steel, the concrete, and ultimately the rails. Then it'll be open up to traffic after it's been like that for about a month. Traffic could be laid from music, track could be laid down from Music Hall to Findlay Market by the end of the year. Reporting live on Elm Street and over the Rhine, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12. Kit? All right, thank you, Joe. And the first 3.6-mile loop of the streetcar from the banks to Findlay Market should be open by fall of 2016.